Good afternoon man, 25 gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video we're going to focus on some tips to beat man defense in man 25 next gen consoles. As you all are aware, defense has stepped up in man 25 next gen. The zones play a little better and definitely man coverage plays better. Most stuff that we used to use to beat man coverage like playmakers etc just don't work very much anymore. Two man under is one of the strongest defenses in the game. In today's video we're going to show you how to beat two men under with five different unique routes and uh, some universal concepts as well that you can look for in other playbooks. Today's playbook will be using the New York Giants playbook and the formation we'll be using is the Gun Empty Giant. Okay guys, real quick before I hop into that, I want to go ahead and draw your attention to the description. There you will find the setup, the playbook, and uh, a couple of other interesting things as well. I'm going to link you to a video that's going to teach you uh, a little bit about blitzing in Men 25 some key things you need to know about what works, what doesn't work, and um, maybe the beginning of pressure in Next Gen Madden 25. Also, for those of you who don't know, I'm working on an e-book right now, and it's going to feature the uh, it's going to feature a two-man pressure blitz. Uh, since two men two men off the edge, I'll have a little preview for you guys coming soon uh, with some gameplay footage that you guys can check out. Um, and I'm going to have that in there, and I'm also going to have a ton of other stuff in there uh, teaching you everything I know. Uh, about defense in Madden 25. Okay guys, moving on, I want to go ahead and also re remind you that if you're new to this YouTube channel, our goal is to focus on teaching guys to become better players at Madden 25, whether that be through gameplay, whether that be through a tip like this, whether that be through an ebook, whatever whatever it means. I just want to make everybody, uh, I want to give everybody a chance to be as good as they can be. And if that means putting out some of my, my knowledge, then hopefully it can help you. If you have tips or uh, something that you might want to submit to my channel, you can email me. My email will be in the description of this video. And also, guys, be sure to note that if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or problems with the video in general, please leave a comment in, this, in the comment section below. That way I can deal with it and get back with you as soon as possible. Okay, guys, let's hop into this shotgun empty giant man beater. All right, guys, the play we like to use is wide receiver corners. It's it's a very unique play for a couple reasons. First and foremost, the two outside receivers are running what we call a C route or China routes, which means they're not going to get pressed because of their release. As you see, uh, we'll snap the ball here and show you, their release re uh, allows them not to get pressed at the line of scrimmage. Okay? Uh, also, Wes Walker has that same exact release angle, which means he's not going to get pressed at line of scrimmage, which means he's probably going to beat man-to-man -man coverage as well. So that leaves us with two other options that we need to use to beat man coverage, which is No. Sean Marino and Julius Thomas. Since they're tight ends, they cannot be pressed. In Man 25, tight ends cannot be pressed. Ever. So, against man coverage, we just take advantage of the positioning. In this example, we're facing a dime normal, so we're going to put No. Sean Marino on an in route. We're going to put Julius Thomas on a drag. And now every route on this field will beat man coverage. Our first read is going to be Julius Thomas crossing across the middle. As you see there, that's a very effective read against man. Our second read is going to be no Sean Marino coming across the back side of that, which is going to be another good read against man. Our third read is going to be the uh, C route to Eric Decker. As we're looking at Marino, we're going to also look to that C route and see if it's open. That time, Altron Werner made a great play on it. But um, in general, that route will work with a pass lead down into the outside, uh, as we saw earlier in the video. Our fourth read is the same exact throw, but to the left now, to Demarius Thomas. And then finally, guys, our uh, final progression read on this is going to be Wes Welker. Uh, coming across the middle on that deep in route, that is 100%. It will beat man coverage uh, literally 10 times out of 10. It's very effective. All right, and then lastly, as you guys saw, we had a little problem with Eric Decker's route, and this is where I'm going to institute what we call motion snaps. Instituting motion snaps where we're going to bring him inside, and then we're going to bring him back to the outside and use that motion snap to give us a little bit better timing but also a little bit better separation against man coverage for his specific route. So you can do that if you want. You don't have to. It's not a priority. It's just something you can mix in if you want to. Also, reminder, you can put those two tight ends on anything you want. They'll beat man coverage. As you see there, zig route is very effective uh, for beating man coverage in that situation. Okay, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope that it provided some useful insight on how to beat man coverage in Man 25. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or problems with the video, please let me know via the comment section of this video. Lastly, guys, be sure to come back to my YouTube channel for future videos related to Man 25 tips. And also, real quick before I leave, if you have any questions regarding specific
specific problems you're having with Madden 25, please let me know in the comments as soon as possible. Thanks for your time today, guys. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.